Welcome to the testing world. In this session, we are going to understand a plugin. Name of the plugin is Awesome Snapshot Plugin. This plugin we are going to use to take screenshots, make modifications, and save it. So we have a lot of options to make modifications in it. This plugin is available for both Firefox and Chrome browser. And as a tester, we can understand why we need to take screenshots whenever we are finding any bug issues. So we need to take a screenshot. We have to make modif modifications on that screenshot and then save it. And later on, we can attach that screenshot while reporting the bug. So I'm moving to my browser and here we need to write awesome snapshot plugin for Chrome. So here we are getting this option, click on this option and add to Chrome. So it is installing. So once the installation is done, it is added and we are getting this option over here. So if we are getting this option means plugin is installed successfully. So now I'm going to show you how we can use this plugin. I'm coming to my website, web application on which I'm testing. So I'm taking example like that's my application www.thetestingworld.com and now I want to take a screenshot. So as you click on this icon, we have the multiple options over here. So first option I want to take is capture visible part of the page. So that is my visible part and if you want to capture the visible part of the page, we have the option capture visible part of the page. As I click on this, it will take a screenshot and will display over here. As of now, I'm not going for any modification. Whatever the screenshot is taken, I'm just saving it. So that is the first option in which we can take a screenshot and we can save it as well. To save it, I click on the done. So I want to save it in my local drive. So save file as an image. I just click on this and it will save like T1. It's going to save in the PNG format. We can change the format as well. I'll show you how we can change it. So that is the first option we have seen. We can take a screenshot and we can save it. I'm copying this address and moving to that location. Just want to open that. So that is my T1 screenshot. So that is saved. So that is the first option we have seen. We can save any screenshot by using this option. So that's the first option. I'm moving to next option, delayed capture. Delayed capture means I want to take a screenshot after three seconds or five seconds. So this option is available over here. We can go to the options and here, first of all, as we've seen, uh, it was saving in the PNG format, so we can set any format. I'm setting for the G JPG format. When I'm going to save this, it is going to save in the JPG format. Also, delay in seconds. So when we are saving a screenshot, when we are taking the screenshot with the delayed mode, so it will take a screenshot after 3 seconds or 5 seconds. So I'm setting it for the 5 seconds. Click on save. And now I'm moving to my screen again and option selected delayed is capture so now it is waiting for five seconds and after that it will take screenshot so now we have two options one option is take screenshot directly and other option is take screenshot after some time that is called delayed screenshot so here if i go and save it so you must see the option to save or i will say the format should be jpg because we have changed that option by going to the options. I'm just closing it. So we have already covered two options. One is capture visible part of the page, delayed capture. Other option is that capture selected area. Like I don't want to take screenshot of the complete page. I want to select that area. So if I go to the capture selected area, here I can select the area which I want to take in my screenshot. So I have just selected only this area. So as you go to the capture, it will capture only the part of that page. 
so now only particular part of the page will be saved again to save it i'm going to done and we already selected the format in which we want to save it i'm just going to save image as a file and it will save as a jpg format i am just cancelling it now we can move to the another option other option a very important option is capture entire page capture entire page means here the page is much bigger as it displayed so only display part is this but the complete page is this so if you want to take the screenshot of complete page not only the displayed part then we can go to the option capture entire page as i click on the capture entire page it is capturing the complete page and here we can see the snapshot is taken for the complete page so that is the option which we can use when we want to take a screenshot when my page is much bigger than the displayed area and i want to take a screenshot of the complete page so in that case i can go for this capture entire page option again if we want to save it we can go to the done we can save it in our local drive later on i'll show you how we can use these modifications options but as of now i'm showing how we can save it now i'm moving to the next option so select a local image or a capture desktop so first i'll show you capture desktop so if you go to the capture desktop it will show entire area of your desktop not only page but it here it include this bar as well so whatever the bar like uh, here we have a start bar so whatever the bar it is displayed on the complete desktop it is going to save it so i'm going to share and here we can see this time it is saving this start bar as well so so with page it is taking the this start bar sometimes we need to show date and time uh, in the snapshot so that other can understand we have taken the screenshot on the right date and time so that will be covered in this option so here we have the date and time as well again after clicking on the done it will save it now moving to the last option we have select a local image so here we can select any local image which is saved in your system and we can go for the modification of it so in this case we are not taking any snapshot we are just using existing image for the modification i am just closing it so now we have seen all available options how we can take screenshots how we can save it how we can set the delay now i'm coming to the modifications part for modifications i am just going over here and taking one more screenshot now i want to do the modification so we have lot of options for that first and a very easy option you can see this is like a paint bar so we can use it like i want to show this is the area which is having some problem so i have selected that area it's look like a free pen which we can use here is the color option so we can select any of the color and then we can use the pen again so by default we are getting this pen option and we can use this pen option in the different color to change the color this is the option and if you want to change the size of this line or the pixels of this line we can select the option from here so that's the option and i'm selecting it like this so this is the pixel of this pen color so these are the two three options if you want to undo that we can use this undo option and if you want to redo that we have this redo option we have one refresh options refresh means the screen will go to the original position so if we click on the refresh now it's everything is removed it's the original screen so here we have already covered how we can use this pen pixels and also we can change color redo undo refresh now we have you know zoom in so you can zoom in and you can zoom out 
I want to create a rectangle over here. We can select color. So I've selected this color and you want to create a rectangle or an oval shape. So I'm going for rectangle. And if you want to go for the oval shape, you can select this. And here I have selected the oval shape. So we can make rectangle or oval, oval shape over here. Sometimes you want to make some arrows. So I click on the arrow and I want to arrow. I want to add arrow over here. So whatever the arrow you want to create, you can display over here. Again, we have the different options for the arrow. So like you can create a single line. You can create a tilted arrow. So like this. You can make the changes in the arrow. I'm just going for undo. So all these options are removed. Now, this is the blur option. Sometimes you will find out information which is written on your image is sensitive information, is secured information. You don't want to display that information to anybody else. So you can blur that area. I just selected that and blurred it. Now you can see the data is not displayed over here. So whatever the information you want to hide in your screenshot, you can blur that area. Then we have the highlight option. If you select anything and you want to highlight that, like I want to highlight this software testing. So you can, you know, select that area, that area will be highlighted. Or maybe I want to highlight these videos. So you can highlight that. Now I want to write something over here, like look at this part. So click on this text part and here, whatever you want to write, like look at this section so you can write any text on the image while modification here we have the option of changing font so i've selected a different font last option is the crop so we can crop the area of the complete image so i just cropped this area i just want to save this area done so i have cropped this area and just crop it so rest of the part will be removed. Only this section will be saved now. So here we have seen all the options which are available for the modification of any image. As I have already told you, this, this plugin is available for Chrome as well as Firefox. So we can use same option on both the browsers. And that is one of the most important plugin because every time we need to take a screenshot, we need to go for some modification. So it is providing many ways to perform these modifications. We can save it different format. And also you have seen like we have many options which we can use. Like we can hide sensitive data by using this blur option. So that is one of the most important option we can use over here. We can write something on the image. We can crop, we can take the complete page screenshot. So these are the many options which are very important while working as a software tester. So that's all we have for this session. Here we've seen how we can use awesome plugin for taking screenshot and the modifications. That's all we have. Thanks for watching this video.